Hi everyone. The French Galley La Reale, built in 1694, was one of the greatest warships of its time in France. It was constructed in the arsenal of Toulon and served as the flagship of Louis XIV's fleet. Louis XIV, also known as Louis the Great or the Sun King, was King of France from 1643 until his death in 1715. His reign of 72 years and 110 days is the longest of any sovereign in history. Although Louis XIV's France was emblematic of the age of absolutism in Europe, the king surrounded himself with a variety of significant political, military, and cultural figures, such as Bossuet, Colbert, Le Brun, Le Notre, Lully, Mazarin, Molière, Racine, Turin, and Vauban. During Louis's long reign, France emerged as the leading European power and regularly asserted its military strength. A conflict with Spain marked his entire childhood, while during his personal rule, the kingdom took part in three major continental conflicts, each against powerful foreign alliances, the Franco-Dutch War, the Nine Years' War, and the War of the Spanish Succession. In addition, France also contested shorter wars, such as the War of Devolution and the War of the Reunions. Warfare defined Louis's foreign policy and his personality shaped his approach. Impelled by a mix of commerce, revenge, and pique, he sensed that war was the ideal way to enhance his glory. In peacetime, he concentrated on preparing for the next war. He taught his diplomats that their job was to create tactical and strategic advantages for the French military. Upon his death in 1715, Louis XIV left his great-grandson and successor, Louis XV, a powerful kingdom. The French Galley La Reale, built in 1694, holds significance in French naval history for several reasons. Here are some notable aspects that make La Reale special. Size and power, La Reale was one of the largest and most powerful galleys of its time. With its three decks and overall length of approximately 60 meters, it boasted an impressive size. It was armed with 120 cannons of various calibers, making it a formidable warship. Flagship of the French fleet, La Reale served as the flagship of the French galley fleet during its active service. As the flagship, it was the commanding vessel, carrying the admiral or high-ranking officer who led the fleet during naval engagements and campaigns. Role in Mediterranean operations, La Reale played a significant role in French naval operations in the Mediterranean Sea. It was involved in protecting French interests, conducting coastal raids, defending trade routes, and supporting land-based military campaigns in the region. Symbol of naval power, La Reale represented the naval might of France during the reign of Louis XIV, known as the Sun King. It showcased the country's commitment to maintaining a strong fleet and projecting power on the seas. Historical significance, the galley serves as a historical symbol of France's maritime strength and its naval contributions during the late 17th century. The French galley La Reale, built in 1694, played a notable role during the war in the Mediterranean and participated in the Battle of Lagos in 1693. The Battle of Lagos was a naval engagement that took place off the coast of Lagos, Portugal, during the Nine Years' War 1688-1697. In the Battle of Lagos, La Reale, serving as the flagship of the French fleet, was part of a larger French squadron commanded by Admiral Jean-Baptiste Ducasse. The French squadron, consisting of both galleys and larger warships, engaged in combat with an Anglo-Dutch fleet under the command of Admiral Edward Russell. During the battle, La Reale and the French squadron were involved in intense fighting against the enemy forces. The engagement was fierce, with both sides exchanging artillery fire and attempting to board each other's vessels. The battle ultimately resulted in a victory for the Anglo-Dutch fleet, which managed to repel the French attacks. While La Reale and the French fleet were not successful in the Battle of Lagos, the engagement demonstrated the significant naval power and capabilities of the galley. 
Lari Ale's participation in this battle exemplifies its role as a formidable warship during the war in the Mediterranean, where naval dominance and control of strategic positions were crucial. It's worth noting that the Battle of Lagos was part of a larger conflict, the Nine Years' War, which involved various European powers and had multiple theatres of war. The Galilariale's involvement in this particular battle highlights its contribution to the maritime warfare of that period. Under the reign of Louis XIV, the French galley fleet played a significant role in France's naval power and its military operations in the Mediterranean Sea. Galley warfare was a prominent feature of naval strategies during that time, and Louis XIV recognized the importance of maintaining a strong galley fleet to protect French interests and project power in the Mediterranean region. The French galley fleet, also known as the Galleon d'Espagne, consisted of a formidable force of galleys. These vessels were long, narrow, and propelled by oars, making them highly maneuverable in coastal waters. They were armed with a combination of cannons and swiveled guns, providing firepower for naval engagements. The galleys were crewed by rowers, known as galley slaves, who propelled the vessels through rowing. They were supplemented by a contingent of sailors and soldiers who manned the cannons and fought in boarding actions. During the reign of Louis XIV, the French galley fleet saw action in numerous conflicts and naval campaigns. It played a significant role in defending French territories in the Mediterranean and projecting French power in the region. The fleet was involved in both offensive and defensive operations, including coastal raids, protection of trade routes, and support of land-based military campaigns. The French galley fleet was commanded by experienced naval officers and admirals who led the vessels into battle. They employed tactics that capitalized on the agility and close-quarter combat capabilities of galleys, often utilizing boarding actions and exploiting the vulnerabilities of larger enemy ships. However, as the 17th century progressed, galley warfare began to decline in prominence with the emergence of sailing warships, which offered greater speed and firepower. This shift in naval technology eventually led to the phasing out of the galley fleets in favor of sailing vessels. Overall, during the reign of Louis XIV, the French galley fleet played a vital role in French naval operations, particularly in the Mediterranean. It represented a key component of France's naval strength and contributed to the broader military strategies of the time. However, despite its power and significance, La Riale did not withstand the test of time. In 1719, it was dismantled, and its timber was used in the construction of other ships. Riale is the name of the main galley of an independent kingdom, not of a tributary kingdom annexed to a greater one. The Riale, in France, is reserved for the general of the galleys and flies the royal ensign which distinguishes it from the others. This ensign is square in shape and red in color, with golden fleur-de-lis. The main galley of the Pope is also named Reale because of the precedence granted by all crowned heads of Roman Catholic states to this leader of the Church of Rome. The kingdoms of Cyprus and Candia, once the possessions of the Republic of Venice, give it permission to grant the quality of Reale to the first among its galleys. The Genoese argue for the same rights because of the Kingdom of Corsica. The main galleys of Naples, Sicily and Sardinia are each called Captains Reale. Today, the Galli La Reale remains a significant historical symbol of France's maritime power during the reign of Louis XIV. Several models and replicas of this galley can be found in museums and collections, preserving the memory of the grandeur of this vessel and its role in French naval history. The decorations of the stern are on display at the Musée de la Marine in Paris. The museum also features a contemporary model of an ordinary galley modified to look like the Reale.
Thanks for watching.